Holy crap, do you guys see what I see? My name is Birth and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Birth, and I'm heading into old thrifty pants right now. See what kind of goodies they got. Hopefully they got something epic on the shelves for us. Haven't been to this thrift giant in about a week, so I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the thrift gods are good to me today. All right, well, what do we got here? What's this thing? Some sort of BB-8. I mean, that thing is heavy. I don't know what that is, actually. Oh, look, we got some Star Wars over here. This guy's cool. He actually has his has his weapon. And then we got Rey, Kylo Ren. We got Darth Vader. We got this Red Trooper. And I'm not exactly... Oh, this is the Flash, huh? Yeah, well, he's a possibility because I do not have this guy. So it turns out this flash actually makes sound. There we go. I guess he maybe he needs needs some batteries or something. And uh, we got Samoa Joe over here. And what do we got here? We got a black suit Spider-Man. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a 12 inch Fortnite figure. Uh, that's kind of fun and we got a transformer we also have an iron man holy crap do you guys see what i see oh look at this bad boy oh yeah that's awesome man his tail is intact all right yeah i do not have him oh there's a pterodactyl right next to him but yeah we're definitely picking up zilla <laughs> got some chicken dominoes and this thing Japheth's living quarters a thousand piece puzzle you know I wasn't going to get this guy but he actually makes sound he's pretty cool and I might actually just get him from my brother all right guys so we're gonna pick up this Godzilla and we're gonna pick up this flash He's got sound, he's from 2016, he's 12 inches tall. Yeah, man, he is super, super cool. So we're gonna pick up both of these guys. All right, guys, well, we pulled a few good scores out of there. That Godzilla is freaking epic. Oh, man, I'm super jazzed up about that one. It's awesome, <laughs> it's real awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go hit up Goody Will, and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna do a little show and tell live from the bunker. All right, my friends, we are here. Ha -ha. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Whoa. Like, check this out. It's like all ice. It's just a big sheet of ice. We had a little winter storm here last Thursday. And this is the stuff that hasn't melted yet. It's been like four days. So, All right. Well, we're going to head in here, keep our fingers crossed, and pray that the vintage Goodwill gods <laughs> almost slipped are good to me today. All right, well, check this out. We got a Yamaha remote control ATV. That's kind of cool. And then down here, we've got this Ghostbuster car that they're asking way too much for, $6.96. Get out of here with that. And what else do we have? So here we got a lunchbox. I'll check that out. It's Fantastic Four. That's cool. And looks like we got a little slot machine here. Must be some sort of bank, maybe. We got some more RC stuff. We got an old baseball mitt. Looks like it's in used condition. Hey, check out the size of this Mickey Mouse. Dude, it's huge. What's this right here? Some sort of, oh, it's probably from the movie Planes, right? And we got this little Luau guy. I guess he would like sit on the dashboard of your car maybe check out this guy right here man that is really cool i went ten dollars for that oh man i would love to bring that home but nicole would kill me check out these big movie reels you know who would dig that my friend real shift 
if you're not subscribed to his YouTube channel, go check him out. It's Real Shift. He does movie reviews, but man, the, that would look great in his studio. Of course, they are pretty big. They're pretty damn big, so you might not have room for that. But hey, buddy, if you're watching, I was looking out for you. Oh, check this out, man. This is really cool. Wow, look at that. That is pretty epic. Yeah, look, these guys down here, they don't even have a face. Well, actually, a lot of them don't even have a face, do they? It's really cool, though. Uh, yeah, look, this Jackie O doll is still here because it's grossly overpriced. It's only worth about 30 bucks, and they're asking 70. All right, guys, busted at the Goody Wheel. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna head home and do a little show and tell with those scores I got over at Thrift Giant. All right, guys, we are back and we are inside the bunker. And here I have a 2016 Electro Strike Flash. How cool is this? I did a little research into this guy and I could not find him with these blue electric bolts coming out of him. So let's spin him around here, we'll get a little closer look at this electricity. I could only find him with yellow electricity. I did a search on YouTube and the only review I found was him with the yellow electric strike stuff. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is that you can see it folds up into the back of his arms and when you pull down that lever, that electricity fires out from his arm. So let's see if I can pick him up here. I did the demo of him in the store. Let's do it again. He does need his batteries replaced. The batteries are a little weak, but let's see if we can get him to talk or get him to make some sound. Very cool. See how those blue streams of electricity unfold from his arms? That is awesome. Very cool. And I think that actually lights up in the dark a little bit. So let's turn the lights out and see if his chest plate lights up. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. I am digging that. That is so cool. Well, surprise, surprise, I brought his buddies out. I found this Superman in a thrift store a little while back as well. I think I found him also at Thrift Giant along with this Batman. These guys work the exact same way. They have this little lever in the back and we'll turn the lights out on these guys here in a second too and see if they glow, see if they light up. But, uh, they also have this little lever and their wings fold open. They fly open and they make sound and they talk. One of the things I think is kind of funny is that Superman, he flies with his cape, but for some reason he needs wings in this case. <laughs> so, all right, well, let's, um, let's turn these guys around and let's turn out the lights and take a look at Supes and Batman. All right, here's Batman. Oh, yeah. I am the knight. I am Batman. Yes, you are. Man, so how cool is that? So we've got Batman, and now let's take a look at Superman. All right, Supes, show us what you got. Man, I just, I love this. I just think this is so cool. No match for my strength, Batman. I love how his eyes light up, man. You to justice, Batman. <laughs> All right, Supes, calm down, calm down. Save it, 
Save it for the big game. All right, up next, we're gonna take a look at Godzilla. All right, this is the 2020 Playmates King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla. And this guy is an absolute beast. If you guys have been watching the channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm a Godzilla fan. And it was an absolute thrill to come across this big guy in the thrift store. So I saw on eBay that he recently sold for about $20. And man, I think it's amazing. Really cool. I do not have a Godzilla, a blue Godzilla like this. So I'm real excited about this. In fact, I thought what I might do here is just pull out all the Godzillas that I have found inside the thrift store over the last couple of years. So let's take a look at the whole gang. All right, here is the lineup of all the different Godzillas that I have found over the last couple of years, including Rodan. Check that out. How cool is that? But let's take a look at the big guy, the big lizard himself. So I found this one recently at Plaza Thrift, Craptastic Sam's. The issue with him is that the back of his tail is missing, but that's okay. I think at some point I can probably come across that on eBay and have a complete Godzilla. Or maybe somebody out there has an extra piece of the tail and wants to send it to me. <laughs> if you do, uh, let me know, I'll pay you for it. But uh, we've got him. We have the one here that we just found recently, just this past week. And down here, I've got this guy as well. I didn't actually, I actually didn't even know that was a Godzilla figure until I looked him up. I thought it was like some sort of dinosaur, but check out his eyes, his beady little eyes. He's got some chompers on him too. And then down here, we've got this smaller figure. He's probably about four inches tall. I really like this one right here. He actually has batteries. I just haven't uh, put any batteries in him yet. Let's pull him out a little bit and I'll show you. So he's got batteries that go in his tail. I just haven't had a chance to get batteries for him. But I do think he's pretty cool. And then I think my favorite one is this one back here. Let's pull him out to the front. And I like him just because he reminds me of that 1960s, 1970s style Godzilla that I grew up on. I just really, really dig this guy. So that is my collection of Godzillas from the thrift store. All right, and last but certainly not least, we have this 2016 12 inch Imperial Death Trooper made by Hasbro. And this guy is badass. I picked this up specifically for my brother. He's a big Star Wars fan. And uh, check this out. You squeeze his legs. <laughs> that is so cool. I like how he turns his head too. He turns his head, lifts his gun up, shoots. Man, I almost want to keep this for myself. <laughs> This thing is awesome. Oh man, I just can't get enough of that. But yeah, check this out. I mean, he's got his weapon and everything. You know, I love this shoulder pad, the shoulder guard that he has up here. It's just really a fantastic looking figure. A lot of people don't like the 12 inch action figures, but man, I'll tell you what, I I like them. I've got a real appreciate, appreciation for them and they display really, really nicely in toy rooms. So if you don't like 12 inch action figures, I would ask you to just consider picking a couple up and displaying them in your room. I think you'll become a big fan of them just like me. Well, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you. If you are, do me a favor, smash that like button. That's one of the biggest compliments you can give me and it really helps 
me out. It helps my channel get pushed out to more people that have an interest in toy hunting and collecting toys and vintage toy collecting and all that stuff. So that would really help me out if you would do that. Also, if you're enjoying this content, check out this next video. I think you'll like it.